Yeah, just one of Mickey here. I'm going to give you a quick overview now. I've done a bit of an in-depth on the little mini mo. Uh, so this is this is my uh, 32 inch fast cut, 32 inch uh, fast cut 32 inch, so 32 inch deck. And when they say fast, they are actually quite fast mower. Your forward and reverse is exactly the same speed as forward's the same. Sorry, reverse is the same speed as forward. So that's the beauty of these. Now, I'm just undone the bolt up there. It's not actually a bolt. It's that and that in the washer. So you just take, that's your height adjuster. Take that off, sorry. That there off, it goes on there. And off she comes. So I'm just going to put that back over here. There's my um, I still FS triple run. She ain't looking new anymore. Give it a bit of a work in it last week, but I come home sick. I'm having trouble throwing this flu. Bloody shocking. But anyway, so to explain this a bit more in depth, here you have when. There's your forward and reverse, so it's just a rock, rocks, forward and reverse. So your foot, your boot on there, obviously. Ah, dang on, let me get it. So, right from there, forward, reverse, forward, reverse. Now, what I wanted to show you is exactly what that does. There's forward, pushing it forward. See the little, the little lever on the side there, just through a series of pivots. So that runs through the guts there. That's forward and reverse. That's how it works. And when you're going backwards, so <clears throat> once you have it, you can quickly go through this because the road's real quick. You have, I'll just fire it up. So you can see that one is spinning clockwise, that one is spinning anti clockwise. So that's just a V belt. It's just a V belt. It runs up over those, around that idler, back around, down under, and onto the crankshaft. clearly see that's pretty simple so you've got those spinning on those so when when you oh, it's just got a little bit of a stretch here so if you look down in there when I go to go back you can see it moving that hole it's just that so that, that's backwards and that just pushes that across onto the one spinning anti-clockwise that takes you backwards then when you want to go forwards you pull that push your foot forward and it pushes that plate across onto the one spinning clockwise forward and reverse exactly the same speed a lot of a lot of hydro mowers reverse slower than they go forward and to me that's a real problem especially if you're wanting to throw the grass like i've done over here today and i wanted to throw all the grass from one side just didn't want to worry about catching it and i'll throw all the grass over so all i was doing was i was just mowing up here straight up to me gq and then i just reversed back because the mow throws to the left and so i was pushing all the grass over because I, I want more of the grass load as you can see just down here there's not a lot on it the grass is slowed up so that's what I want to do and I cut that oh, I've cut it at about 25 probably 30 mil 
lawn's probably pretty hard to pick up. A little bit of brush cut in the low so I've been as cook, as cook, as cook. But so, getting back to this dryer system, you can see, so that's how it works. You got a bearing, you got a bearing in there, you got a bearing there, these are bearings, you got a shaft, and these ones here are continuously turning, and that just moves either way to forward or forward and reverse, which I've explained. And these aluminium, and all that does is there's cork on these, and then that, when that moves across, that's just no different to letting a clutch out on your car and the clutch plate closing up and pressure just going on it. Now the amount of pressure you clearly exert on them is what you put on with your foot as to what speed you go. Because they obviously have slippage in them until you have it pushed right up hard. Now, to adjust the amount of load on this V-belt here that goes from front to back to the engine, engine up, round, then back, back to the engine, is this here, and this is on, you probably can't see it, but down under there, along the edge there, so along this edge of that shaft, it's serrated like same as this here same as that thing and that's spring loaded so you can see that spring in there and that just puts pressure on it give that a tap and load up to how much pressure you want to put in your belt so that works out to you know if it starts if your belts are slipping you're going up fairly steep stuff and you notice this thing ain't driving real well just give that a tap one click that puts a bit more pressure on the v-belt take it slippage now these corks, they last for ages, but you can, as I understand it, you can do this whole rear end here up, completely replace all this new, this here, for about 600 Australian. That's fitted, done. But you, ne you need to have a mechanic that knows how to set these up at the right angle through here, because there's adjustments here, clearly you can see, left to right, and you've obviously got to have a certain amount of play in there. But I, I, I myself, unless I watched them do it, I wouldn't even bother because for what it's worth for them to do it, they do it in a few hours. You better off paying an extra couple hundred dollars. Now I've got to take a little bit, that's a new chain there, I've got to give that a little bit more, a little bit more um, tension, it's a little bit loose. They say only give it about, about three mil. It's a brand new chain, so it's what run in. So I'll tighten up and that's just through that adjustment there. That's how simple that is. So you just adjust that back. That's twin, twin um, bearings there. Then again, if you want to replace that, Allen key, out with that. New ones with those in, they run on them. But all you do is unlock that, and that plate can slide, and there's your adjustment there. Simple things like the hammer. You can see that. That's engaged, hang on, that's disengaged there. You engage a handbrake, it locks the dog in. Hang on, sorry. That's the other way around. That's engaged. So that just locks the dog in down, and there's a dog down in here. Disengage. And then it's also got a foot brake. There. Hang on. Just get it there. So that's a disc that's down. Yeah. But I'm just getting back to this drive system. So as you can see, that's that is a very simple drive system. This mower here has done 442 hours exact, and I'd probably say that's the original drive system. Um, I just can't see how you can rebuild a hydro or replace a hydro. You know, way under a thousand dollars. It's not going to happen. And here, I'm pretty sure you can. I'll get a price on these. But like I say, that little mini mo, it's never been touched. The drive system in it. It's about six or seven years old. This one here's done 440 hours plus. 
I'd say it's never been touched, but I don't know its history. Um, yeah, so to me, if I just look at it, I see that drive system, just that simplicity of that drive system. Another little thing here, your deck. Now, a little short ass deck lever, right? You go, geez, that's a short ass deck lever. That's a cast aluminium deck. And you can also get a uh, fabricated steel deck. And there are people that make these too. But if you look at these, they fit quite well designed. They're, they're open up at the nose, open up around the front. Skid plates on, the, on the, this is the base model. There's adjustment on these skid plates here. So you can adjust that. Drop that down a bit lower if you want the skid plate hitting before that, but that one's adjusted right up. And I'm pretty cautious with mine. Um, anti scalp wheel on that side and that side, as you can see, that's not a fair bit of work. I'm actually going to put wider anti scalp wheels on it like I put on the little one. Just to get it show you. Uh, the, the higher the deer are greenfield again with lights and 34 inch deck and a few other bits and pieces but drive mechan mechanism no different um, has four anti scalp wheels which I can easily do to that but I'll just put this is fairly worn so I'll probably put three ones on there down the track now let's say about that deck lifting now that's there to there, just those chains, and there's adjustment on the, on the under there for the left to right under the deck. All your these fittings are nice and heavy, not worn at all, not worn at all. Um, so you've got this spring. So if you want to make the deck even lighter, here's an adjustment here. You just take that up, adjust that more, put more tension on that spring less weight, easier for it, puts more weight on it, it's easier for it to lift up for you. Like I said, that's not, that's very easy, very easy lift. Uh, where are we? Let's have a look at how that works, see that? Look at that. Look at this. Simple engineering. Oh, that's a little short ass. Now if you're really all that worried about it, you could straighten that up, lift it up and make that longer. It's obviously got a knob on it, but I've got it off because I've got the seat that off just to show you. So, there it is. To me, I, I don't know, a lot of people might like hydraulics and that, and I think hydraulics are good. can be heavy duty mowers. Definitely reliable. But to me, this is a mechanical, simple mechanical system. Uh, which I like simple mechanical things. I can, I can understand that completely how it works, which I can understand how a hydro hydraulic setup works, don't worry about that, but uh, a fairly handy person can pretty well do most of the maintenance on this. I only have to watch that get adjusted once on this here, and I don't have to see it done once. Like you see, you can see there's an Allen key in there, that's shredded. So you've got to work out how much you want on that. A few little bits and pieces on it. But look really. There again. As I say this whole mower. It's probably built to last fairly well. Kingpins are greasable. All your all your everything here. That's not all flogged out and worn or anything. Um like I say it's done a lot of fair bit of work, 440 hours. Um you can switch your isolate your fuel, all your oil filter and everything's all nice and accessible. Your drain bung, I think, is on the other side. We're going to do a little change, and I'll do that this week. Yes, yeah, so there's your drain bung there, and it's even hollowed out nice for the oil to drain out there. Um, it's got a lot of pluses. You can actually still buy these things cheap, and there's, there is a absolute bags of them. Get on Gumtree at any one time, and you've got all the complete range. They're still making this setup, and it's a different looking mail, but it's still the same setup as this. Still called a Greenfield, still made in Brisbane. And uh, 
uh, owned by Cox now, but still a good looking mower, instead of a mechanical clutch. Here's your mechanical clutch here, which everyone knows how they work. That's a good simple setup, I think. And it's all very explanatory, out and in. Everything, all that's, that's actually riveted on. And uh, so the whole lot, the whole lot front axle pivots, uh, like the steer, they're, in my opinion, like, you know, for instance, the lip on this here. That lip there, you look at that, that that's a lip. And that's nice and thick and galvanised. Got painted and it's galvanised panelling, but that just fits up under there. You know, like I said, they're again all really simple, strong, basic engineering. But I'm going to get off this because I'm telling you, I'm even struggling breathing here. This bloody thing, it's bloody affected me. Oh, Christ. I'm going to leave it at that. There's your drive, in depth drive set up or fairly in, relatively in depth of your drive system of a uh, any greenfield um, any greenfield drive system with these they're all they're all the same uh, they did make a, a hydro drive greenfield by cox but um they're effectively just a cox as far as i understand but nothing wrong with them again. But these, um, that's this drive mechanism that's been around since the mid 19, I think 1966. Really not unchanged much. Obviously modified it a bit. But um, uh, really in its basic form, it's been around since 1966. Well, that's sort of got to tell you something, hasn't it? I'm going to leave it at that because this is a bloody long video. And I'm actually losing breath just talking. That's how shit house I'm feeling. But I'm going to leave with that. Swear Mick out on the Sunday afternoon.